Good morning. It's day 28. Good morning. <laughs> they say every journey begins with a single step, but I believe ours began over two years ago when we decided to attempt a through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Through years of preparation and training, we prepared ourselves for an adventure of a lifetime. This is our journey to Katahdin. There's deer right at our camp. Of them. How cool. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Ready to hit our 200 miles and Klingman's Dome? Yes. Let's go. Beautiful day. I don't even feel really a whole lot of wind, so that's nice. And I think the highs are supposed to be maybe in the 70s. So we'll probably change into shorts at some point. But for now, we're off a little bit earlier today. It's just a few minutes before 9 o'clock. And we're ready to hit the miles. that time a pack of wild boar came running at us when we were in black bear wilderness hiking <laughs> it was very very shocking there was like eight of them yeah i don't know what made them stop but i'm glad they stopped running towards us and went through the water from what i hear they can be pretty dangerous but i don't know that was a scary situation, but nothing really came of it, so not really. Yeah. Klingman's Dome, 7.4. Okay. Which will also be our 200 mile mark. little ridge walking.
Coming up on Styler Bottled Shelter, where we're gonna have our lunch break. We typically like to take our lunch break when we're just a little bit over halfway through our day. But we've decided this is a good spot because we need water. So if we're gonna take our packs off to get water and to get out of the hot sun for a little while. Okay, let me see if I can catch it. Show me where it is. Okay, okay yes, yes. Oh, look at this. Oh, what's this? Oh, first of all, the bunny has all... Oh, God! Oh, there it flew away. I don't think... I don't know what that was. Could have been a peregrine? Or a falcon? I don't know. It looks like a bird, but it has the color of a bunny. It was brown, right? Yeah. Yeah. He flew away. He was ground hunting. How cool was that? This is so beautiful up here, and the smell of the pines are just intoxicating. Look at this beautiful forest. We are just so delighted today with what we're hiking through. It's just, it just feels so magical, right, Little Bear? Yeah, it's wonderful here. It smells so good. It does. I wish we had smell-o-vision for everybody because, oh my goodness. It smells like perfume in here. I mean, this is the literal um, essential oil that I buy to put in our diffuser at home and here we are just it's all around us wow This is my second favorite part so far of our entire through hike. Wow. Just lovely, isn't it? Coming up on another shelter. I don't remember what this one is called. Oh. Um. Hmm. Not a typical shelter though. It's enclosed with tarp. Can we open it so you can, people can see? Yeah. Since there's nobody in there, we won't disturb anybody. No. Thank you. Yeah. Pretty decent. Nice little fireplace. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I see all the writing. <laughs> all right, let's get on out of here. Thank you. Nice place to sit and eat, just like the other ones we've been at. It's not buggy here. No, it isn't. There's a water source somewhere that way. We're good on water, I think. Yeah, 
All right, let's continue on. Yeah. Got places to go. Oh, we're waiting on where far out tells us there's a view, but this looks like a view to us. And it's still supposed to be about point two ahead. You can see each individual tree. I know, this is absolutely stunning. Far out says we still have about point one to go for the view, but look at this. We've had two views in the last point three. That's fabulous. Oh my gosh, today has just been remarkable. Let's keep going. Up on this ridge, you can see so much. That's so pretty here. What do you see? I see the sign. What does that mean? You, my love, have hit 200 miles. Wait, I don't see this thing. Well, this is where it is right here. I don't think anyone's made a oh, no, I think they did. marker, did they? I think they did, but like they tried, but it blew away. Oh, maybe so. Yeah, I think <laughs> that was supposed to be. That's 200 miles. It looks like zoo, but we'll take 200 miles. Yeah. Well, we've made it to the dome. Wow. We're in our late 50s, but there's a lot of Oh, there's so many people up here. Sunday. Wow. There's so many people. It's like almost so hard to even get a view. So we'll show you the view from here. I honestly feel like I got just a beautiful view minus all the people. <laughs> Back at the last view spot. What do you think, little bear? Yeah, the, I just said the last view spot, I think it was even more beautiful. All right, back to the woods. We're on our last point three to the shelter. Look at the trees. They're so weird looking. <laughs> she said they look, that they look naked. They kind of do. Yeah, they do. Well, we made it to the shelter that to our surprise was half a mile off trail and now we are walking to get water which is another point one off of trail supposedly it's not. <laughs> she says it's it's not uh, it's probably more like point two so in total we will have done what should have been a 13.1 mile day we will have done about 14 point, probably four by the time it's all said and done. Surprise, surprise. Well, hello from the closing of day three of the Smokies. 
Yeah, and day 27. Is it? 28. I don't remember what day it is. This number. We'll write it down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we had some pretty big, exciting things today. We hit 200 miles, right? Yeah, what? that's so exciting. I think that's safe to say that's probably our definite highlight of the day. Uh -huh. And let's see, we went from Derek Knob Shelter to Mount Collins Shelter. Yeah. for 13.3 miles and it turns out with the extra walk to Klingman's Dome to this shelter which is half mile away to the water source which is another 0.12 it ended up being um, 14 and a half miles today so it's our biggest day yet kind of yeah. on accident <laughs> but we're doing 15 tomorrow so that's the plan yeah that is the that's the plan. plan we'll see we'll see how we feel when we wake up and then uh, make a decision based on how we feel when we wake up and yeah it looks like tomorrow although it will be our biggest mile day looks like um pretty we have one decent climb and then most of the day is jardin's back yeah i think <clears> so <throat> um let's see we did our highlight already of course what was your challenging um or learning character builder Okay, so I kind of had two. Okay. So our lunch wasn't pretty good. It, the food was good, but there was mosquitoes everywhere. Or biting flies. I don't. Those aren't yeah. mosquitoes. I don't know what those were. But they hurt. So yeah. I got bit all like mostly right here. They <laughs> loved right. That's here. why I kept getting bit. I wonder if it's the sweat or the salt. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, that was number and one. Then, so when we got to clean and stone, <clears throat> we were really excited, but it was way too populated. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this trail is making me an introvert because the silence is just so enjoyable. Hearing, being able to hear your own breathe, breathing is yeah. nice. There's, there's something to be said. A lot of people say that being out here, um, you really tend to enjoy... The people that you're around, the, like the intentional people that you're around, <clears throat> your family or just, you know, the people that you're passing on the trail. <clears throat> but um, when you, because you've been out here for a while and then when you get into heavily populated places, it doesn't feel good. And not only was it heavily populated, but it was just so peopley. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, there was like a line to try to get to see all of the views. And so... We were in and you were out. Yeah, you guys saw we were in and out pretty quickly. But so I'm kind of like, that's my character builder or not eh, super exciting. Day. Yeah, it was a big build up and then you get there and... Disappointment. It's yeah. like when you're walking on a road and like you see a pile of leaves, so you go to step on it, but it's not crunchy. <laughs> I don't if know. That makes sense. I don't know that I would describe it that way, but it definitely was not worth the extra, however many mm. point, probably point yeah, probably one eight point nine or so point to eight? well to walk all the way up there, to walk all the way back down there, and then to walk back down to the trail. I don't know. I didn't calculate. As if it was like point two. No, it definitely wasn't. I mean, not point eight. It wasn't point two, but either way, I don't think it was worth walking at all and so no. um, we get kind of closely guarding our miles and try not to do a whole lot of extra miles if we don't have to so yeah that was it um Klingman's Dome not my thing mm. won't go back the views well, that we go got back. on trail were better yeah but today's Sunday so a lot of the people are going to be out but maybe we can come on like a Thursday on our way back home maybe I don't know I feel like I got really good views when we were just on trail. Yeah. It was just beautiful. All right. Well, I think that's all we have for today. Is that all you have? <laughs> Here you go. That's the best closer right there. You guys love her. We love her. I'm like, I've been reading our comments. You guys love her. And we're sorry we don't get to talk to you, family, today. We're at camp with absolutely no cell service whatsoever. Mm. And it might be a day or so until we do have cell service. So we love you guys. We miss you so much. And we can't wait to talk to you. But until then, love and light to you all. We will see you tomorrow on day...
whatever I put up here because I can't remember. <laughs> it might be 29, 28. There you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good night.